Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Why are expat um, friends and Filipino friends so important? The reality is things can go wrong very quickly in the Philippines. Um, you can go along quite fine. Um, I say, you know, a British expat where he had no connection to this, except for living in the next town. Um, his life was going fine. He was happily in a relationship, blah, blah, blah. And then he's accused of a child murder. Without the support of people like myself, um, he wouldn't actually have cleared, pretty much cleared his name at the moment. Um, he wasn't killed in the first place. He was the second expat to be accused of it. Um, he was lucky, uh, sorry, the first couple were lucky that they had a real embassy. Um, I think they were from the Netherlands, the, the guy, his wife's Filipino. Um, the guy that I'm talking about at the moment, he um, was basically from the UK. Problem with the UK is the embassies are trying not to swear. It's useless at the best of times. Um, I contacted the person in charge of the whole of Asia. His response was that they have all the confidence in the local police force, which is rather humorous um, when most locals don't have the confidence in the local police force. Um, but the point was, you can't rely on the embassy. Don't expect them to do anything. Uh, US, UK, whatever. They do not care. Uh, Netherlands, I'll say the Dutch are pretty good and it's not the first time they've uh, helped um, deal with situations, evacuations and things. They've come forward before. British Embassy, um, I would just say the word toilet paper, two words, because um, they would not do, not do a stitch for you. But anyway, so it's important to have this network. Um, that one involved me investigating, doing the, uh, mapping out crime scene, my, mapping out all the routes for the area, uh, stuff on the ground to help with the case um, and investigating some of the uh, suspects, etc. Uh, sorry, witnesses, <laughs> I can't say suspects. <laughs> uh, well, I did actually do both, but let's just say a lot, they were, well, all the witnesses were shown to be um, false. I could write and write a book on that stuff, but anyway, expats like myself are few and far between. Um, most others will go. You'll see them on the forums. Go. Oh, I know it was guilty. Blah blah. blah. They've never met them. They don't know the person, but they like to have their old keyboard warrior moment by having something to say. Um, so people like myself are few and far, be far between, which is why we become quite important for networking with. Filipinos, exactly the same. Good Filipinos will fight your corner, although often will not put themselves at risk. Um, the risk factor to myself, I won't even discuss, but it has been quite serious. Um, but Filipinos are a bit like that, unless you're on the, the top end of the top of the tree. Um, there is certain groups within the Philippines, within the expat and Filipino overlap that will protect each other. Um, I'm not, it's not like a mafia or something. It's just the fact that it, it's just the access to the people that can uh, influence change in a positive way. Um, that can be uh, within the police, within judges, etc., etc. It's not corruption, by the way. It's actually to get a proper investigation. Um, and that comes about by having that support mechanism that comes from good expats and good Filipinos you can work with. Um, and I have to say, I know mayors, governors, um, various people at the top of the tree. Um, although I don't utilize the network very often, because I'm more a person, if I invite you for dinner, it's because you're a friend. I'm not interested in utilizing that network for anything else. Um, if anything is influenced, it's normally uh, for the benefit of somebody else. It's just the way I am. 
um, which is why it's important to have these networks in the first place. Most empaths don't bother. But if you imagine a motorcycle accident, who knows what your medical insurance is? Who, who knows what your cover is? Who knows that if you put this number in and give it to the hospital, they will cover all your medical bills regardless of how much it costs. Uh, for most people, nobody, which means you've got nobody to cover your medical expenses, which could mean that they may hack your leg off instead of trying to save it because you couldn't afford to afford the surgery, but you can afford a hacksaw. This is why having good friends is important, but also having a network that's not only local, but offshore. Um, if you've got family back home, yes, I know some of you people will have problems with your own families, but would they help you out in an emergency? That's why only burn a bridge if it's, you're burning it for good. You know, I say about ditching negative people, well, I do. I, I really do. I, I'll ditch people that are of low value, but at the same time, my family connections, even though some of these people drive me up the wall because we're family, I'm still interwoven with every member of my family. Um, it's just one of those things, you know, you only have to see each other at Christmas. <laughs> so um, you can overcome most problems. And I would say be the bigger person by just saying, look, let's put that beside us. We're still blood. Let's move it forward, even if it's just for Christmas cards, because that might be the one person that can help you out when you're in real trouble. Um, that's why I say friends are important. I mean, it's not just the Philippines, it's anywhere. Um, because if you're in real trouble, those are the people who will come and support you. Um, I've helped a few expats out before. Um, I've took some, several to the Middle East um, when they were pretty much bankrupt. Um, not just in the Philippines, because my network's quite extensive. I've helped people out even when they've left the country. Um, and I, my network, even today, allows me to travel to many countries because I have friends there. Uh, a lot of people are interlinked with me because of things they know I've done and at the same time they know they can rely on me. As such, their friendship's very uh, strong and often only there because of people of the same mentality, same uh, understanding of the life as an expat and they're very aware that expats that are gonna take care of you um, a are few and far between but b that the loyalties and the way i work i expect from them to do as well you know i'm i'm not in trouble um and i, ha I haven't needed any assistance but the fact is i'm sure they would be there um it's because they understand that my friendships friendships are very important to me and to get on the friends list is quite hard uh, but friendships for me are lifelong and that's why it's important for yourself don't assume well i don't need anybody i i know somebody made a sort of a joke well i'm only going to the philippines to meet filipinas blah 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 that's fine but <laughs> you kind of have to have a reality check if something goes wrong. If you're hit by a car or something, um, it's worth knowing some expats, it's worth knowing some good Filipinos, it's worth knowing that people are going to get you through the day uh, when you may be on a life support machine. Um, that's why it's very important to have good friends in the Philippines or anywhere, as, uh, anywhere else as an expat. All right, thanks for watching.